Hello. Hello, Go. everyone. It's IC here. And we'll be ranking all of our Blu-ray movies and over the years. Um, yeah, this is going to be the complete Blu-ray collection of the Heine Brothers. So it's going to be a long video. I don't know how long it's going to be. But we're not going to go into long monologues about each movie. Those are what our other videos are for. And those and you go on TikTok. AC gives long monologues about all the movies. But we're just going to probably name the title, move on. Title, move on, maybe a year occasionally. But yeah, we're going to get started. Starting off with my collection because my collection is way smaller than his. So here we go. <laughs> see. All right. The Batman Begins from 2005. Back to the Future Trilogy. The Best Years of Our Lives. The Bridge on the River Kwai. Capernaum. Coco from 2017. The Dark Knight from 2008. The Dark Knight Rises from 2012. Dial M for Murder on 3D. Downfall from 2005. Gandhi. The Godfather Coppola of Restoration, so it's the first three. Godfathers one through three. The Good, the Bad, and the Ugly. The Grapes of Wrath from 1940. The Great Escape from 1963. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2. How to Train Your Dragon from 2010. In the Name of the Father from 1993. On Sandys and Cindy's from 2010. Inception from 2010. Inside Out from 2015. Judgment at Nuremberg from 1963. The Jurassic Park Ultimate Trilogy. So this was before Jurassic World, obviously. This was back when it was just a trilogy. I want to say it's from 09 or 2010, but I'm sure someone will correct me if I'm wrong. The Lion King Diamond Edition. Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels from 2000. The Lord of the Rings Motion Picture Trilogy Extended Edition. So this was right before The Hobbit came out. Maybe 2011 or 12. Mary and Max from 2009. Mr. Smith Goes to Washington, 75th Anniversary Edition. North by Northwest, 50th Anniversary Edition. Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl from 2003. Rad Tui from 2007.
A Separation from 2011. Sound of Music from 1965. Star Wars The Complete Saga. This was before The Force Awakens and Last Jedi and Rise of Skywalker. So this is probably from, I want to say 2011, 2010. Someone will correct me, but I know this is before The Force Awakens. Yep. Toy Story from 1995. And Toy Story 2. Wait, that's just Toy Story. Okay. We have a double pack somewhere, but this is just Toy Story from 1995. Toy Story 3 from 2010. Up from 2009. The Usual Suspects from 1995. Wild Tales from 2014. The Wizard of Oz from 1939. And then last but certainly not least for me, this is it for my little mini collection, but your name from 2016. Let's do it! Okay, this is Pittsburgh from 1942, starring John Wayne and Shemp Howard. Whee! Woman in Hiding, 1950. High Noon with Gary Cooper and Grace Kelly. The Kane Mutiny, uh, came out in 1954, directed by Stanley Kramer, uh, starring Fred McMurray, Humphrey Bogart, and Jose Ferrer. It's a Mad, Mad World. That came out in 1963. This is a very big cast, and I've said this many times, this is good. This is a bloated movie. I'll say that. Oh, yeah. Bloated movie. An Innocent Man, Tom Selleck. Radio Land Murders, uh, came out in 1994. Gone Fishing with Joe Pesci and Danny Glover and Willie Nelson. That came out in 1997. Night at the Museum, this cat came out in 2006. Zoolander 2 came out in 2016. Dream Girls came out in 2006, uh, starring Eddie Murphy, um, Jennifer Hudson, Beyonce, and Danny Glover. Mr. Papa's Penguins with Jim Carrey and Angela Lansbury, came out in 2011. Elf from, from 2003, starring Will Ferrell and James Caan, Bob Newhart and Ed Asner. Oh, Grown Ups 2, starring Adam Sandler, Kevin James and Chris Rock, came out in 2013. Uh, Las Vegas came out in 2013, starring Morgan Freeman, Kevin Kline, Michael Douglas, and Robert De Niro. The Dead Don't Die came out in 2019. Bridge of Spies with Tom Hanks, that came out in uh, 2015. Step Brothers, starring Will Ferrell and Richard Jenkins and John C. Riley. Thank you so Can't much. Forget about him. You're right. Came out in 2008. That was 07. Is it 08? Yes, it is 08. Okay. Okay. You're okay now. And this is Burn After Reading. Came out in 08 too. <sighs> 
Cowboys and Aliens came out in 2011. I saw it in theaters, and even when I was eight, I was petrified. I don't know if that's the right word, but oh, continue on. If, okay. Now it's Space Warriors. Came out in 2013. Night Museum, A Secret of the Tomb. That came out in, in Night Secret of the Tomb. It's really good. Crazy on the Outside with Tim Allen. Came out in 2010. Alpha and Omega, that came out in 2010 with Chris, with Danny Glover. This is Gulliver's Travels with Jack Black and Jason Segel and Emily Blunt. The Bride Comes Home with Claudia Colbert and Fred McMurray. It, Everything Everywhere All at Once from 2022. Probably the most recent Blu-ray we have for now. Silkwood, this is the last one and it stars Kurt Russell and Cher. There's more though, there's more. Those are just the ones we had from our rooms. We got to get into these now, AC. So All right. in just a moment, we'll get into these. I will be back. So if you want to get into them now, go ahead, AC Wiggle. Another Thin Man. That came out in 1939. Strangers on a Train, which is Alfred Hitchcock movie he directed. That came out in 1951. The Passion of the Christ that came out in 2004. It's starring Mel Gibson. This is Alexander and the Terrible, um, the Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day. This came out way back in 2014, nine years ago. Alice in Wonderland, uh, 2010. Starring Johnny Depp. Annie from 1982 with Carol Burnett. Alvin the Chipmunks ship, Shipwrecked. The Shipwrecked. Avatar. This is... The Attitude, WWE. The Avengers from 2012, Robert Day Jr. Bambi. The Birds, 1963. Starring Susan Pochette and this is the Alfred Hitchcock movie. This is a Bible um, movie collection as the Bible in the beginning, the greatest story ever told, and the robe. The Voyage of the Down Trader. Cinderella. Despicable Me. That came out in 2010. Um, starring Steve Carell, Jason Segel, Julie Anderson, Miranda Cosk uh, Grove. This Big Will Me 2 came out in 2013. Steve Carell as Miranda Cosgrove. Diary of a Wimpy K. 
Kid uh, came out in 2010. Zachary Gord, everyone. Diary of a Wimpy Kid, um, Roderick Rules from 2011. Diary, Diary of a Wimpy Kid, Dog Days from 2012. Dinosaur from 2000, Disney movie. We have it on DVD too, but we have it for the Blu-ray version. Disney parks where dreams come true, and and we'll be and I'll be doing I'll hopefully do some Disney videos in the next few weeks. Okay, this is Dogville from 2003. Dolphin Tail, 2011, William Freeman. Down, down, down to Abbey, season two. Fa Fantastic Beast. Fantastic Mr. Fox. Finding Dory, 2016. Frozen, 2013, let it go, let it go, can't hold it back anymore, let it go, let it go. Fairy Ving, 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 Vingwins, Fairy Vingwins, G.I. Joe. Retailation. No Mill and Juliet, uh, 2011. The Good Dinosaur. Green Lantern, 2011. The Greatest Showman from 2017. Guardians of the Galaxy. Harry Potter. The first one. 2001. Harry Potter and the Prison of Alcohim. The Cobra of the Fire, Harry Potter. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hall Hallows, Part 1. The Hobbit, An Unexpected Journey. The Hobbit, the desolation of of Smag 3D, Ice Age, Hop, 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 Home Alone, Iron Man 2. John Carter, 3D. Judy Moody and the Not So Bummer Summer. The Jungle Book, live action version. Not as good, and not as good as the, the, the um, animated version, the OG from 1967. The Karate Kid. Hiya! Hiya! King Kong from 2005. Lady and the Tramp. Legends of Mid South Wrestling. 
wrestling. The last Airbender. The Hunger Games. Star Wars, The Padaway Menace. The Little Mermaid. The Little Mermaid. Classic right there. Man of Steel, 2013. The Longest Day from 1960. Um, the, the Longest Day movie. Is it the remake? Uh, it has three, it has a three di di disc uh, set. I think it has the OG two. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Also, the Lorax 3D, um, of course, came out in 2012. Uh, it came out on Dr. Seuss's birthday, which Dr. Seuss's birthday was March 2nd. Happy belated birthday, Dr. Seuss. Fun fact, yes. Yeah. Kung Fu Panda 2. Loss. Season six. Season finale, the final season. Yep. Mad Men, season one. The, the male. Maleficent. Maleficent. Maleficent, yep. All right. Mars Needs Mom from 2011. Mary Poppins from 1964. Men in Black. Men in Black 2. <coughs> Men in Black 3. Meet the Robinsons from 2007. Mega Mine from 2010. Midway, I already said that one. Million Dollar Arm. Honestly, forgot about that one. Minions from 2015. Moana from 2016. Monsters University from 2013. The Muppets movie, the original. It's the original one, not the 2011 one, even though it's a different plot. The Mummy Trilogy. The Odd Life of Timothy Green. Old Dogs from 2009. I don't know what that was. Try to kill with this crappy movie, Old Dogs. Oz the Great and Powerful from 2013. Puss in Boots 3D from 2011. Ramona and Beezus from 2010. Real Steel from 2011. This is a Blu-ray slash DVD combo. It's The Rescuers and The Rescuers Down Under. So 1977 and 1990. Rio from 2011. Now we're back. Rise of the Guardians from 2012. Rise of the Planet of the Apes. The Santa Claus from 1994. Hey yo! Hmm. Hey yo! Hey you! Hey, that's what he really said. <laughs> Santa Claus 2 from 1994.
from 2002. No iconic lines from this movie. <laughs> Nothing? I guess not. That's how forgettable it was. The Santa Claus 3. Even worse. Mario Schwartz said, hey you. Yeah, from 2006. Yep. Yeah. Saving Mr. Banks from 2013. Scooby-Doo WrestleMania Mystery Movie, 2014. Shrek Forever After, The Final Chapter, from 2010. The Secret Life of Walter Mitty, from 2013. That's a nice little booklet inside there, too. Some nice images from the times. The Smurfs 2011. Snitch. I haven't even watched this one yet, but Snitch. The Sorcerer's Apprentice from 2010. Star Trek Into Darkness. Now AC is going to continue. I'm going to put these up real quick. All right. Rogue One, Star Wars Story. From 2016. Oh, yeah, 16. Clone Wars. And this is Clone Wars Season 2. This is Clone Wars Season 3. This is Star Wars Rebels. And this is, this is, uh, this is the, the complete second season of Star Wars Rebels. Tangle, which is the Disney movie. Thor. Thor, the Dark World. Oh, yeah. The Three Stooges movie from 2012. Um, I enjoyed, uh, AJ and I saw it uh, when, when, when it came out in theaters at the time. We enjoyed it, we enjoyed ourselves. Guilty pleasure. Yep. This is Tooth Fairy 2010. Toy Story 2. And this is Tron. Tron Legacy. Right, we are wrapping up. I didn't think it'd be this short, but maybe we don't really have that big of a collection. Let us know if you have a bigger collection than us. Right, here we go. U2 360 live at the Rose Bowl. The Streak. It's about the a documentary about the history. Undertaker's WrestleMania streak. I want to say 2013. Winnie the Pooh from 2011. Wreck It Ralph from 2012. The Wolverine. Have we done? Have we done this one yet? I don't know if we have. Well, here's a. If we haven't done this one already, this is. Cast a giant shadow. I don't know if we've done this one, but just in case we left it out earlier, here it is. Cast a giant shadow. Here you go. If I I I I I forgot to do, forgot to do a couple. Okay, we'll go back. We'll we have even more. But here is the X Men trilogy. This is 2010, I believe. 2011, something somewhere around there. And this was released. Yes. 2009, it says on here. 2009. All right. X-Men First Class from 2011. X-Men Origins Wolverine. Yogi Bear 2010. Zootopia 2016. Zookeeper 2011. 
starring Kevin James. This is Kyle's 2 from 2011, guys. Is that the last one? Oh, there's some more. Uh, Can't end off on a bad actually, note. Actually, Big Hero 6, 24, 2014. And he missed those earlier, so yeah. just in case. We have Brave from 2012. Big Trouble in Little China. Beauty and the Beast live action. I like that one. Okay. All right. We're done. That's it. Over 30 minutes long. I wasn't sure how long we were going to be, but let us know. Do you have a better or do you have more Blu-rays than we do? You probably it do. Is honey you probably planes. do because we haven't really collected Blu-rays consistently and probably maybe five years we still buy some occasionally but it's maybe before all this everyone has a streaming service back when there was only netflix and prime was just a baby but and hulu were babies they were babies but that is our blu-ray collection let us know if you have a better collection than us and just remember keep going and growing and happy wiggling see you guys, guys.